On a scale of one to 10, rate yourself how confident you are to answer this question. Do you know what you want to do in a career? Okay, stop, that's enough pressure. Well, I'm here to tell you that if you scored high or low, that participating in work experience can offer you a brand new perspective on a job role, a company, or an industry, and it can help you decide if a career direction is something that you want to pursue. Hi, I'm Steph, and welcome to my quick set, where you hear directly from experts on how to get the most out of work experience. So, what exactly is work experience? Work experience can be described as a placement in an organisation for a fixed period of time. The experience you gain should give you an understanding of the working environment and what employers expect from their employees. Think of it as a snapshot of the professional environment. You get the chance to explore different career options, make a platform for you to grow and development, all while gaining a sense of independence and self-confidence. There are many different types of industries who offer work experience. From construction to education, financial and hospitality, not to mention all of the creative industries too. Have you ever stopped to consider if there's a specific industry that you pitch yourself working in? Is it more of a practical job, informal, creative or corporate? If you're not sure, that's okay. My top tip to get started is to begin today. Right now, visualise the type of work you see yourself doing. Let me plug a couple of my favourite Prentice Nation quick sets to help you figure it out. Passion first profession. Do you have to choose with Lewis? Get paid doing what you love with Kaylee. Who are you? Discover your purpose, also with Kaylee. It is okay to have a few options to choose from. I completed my work experience in two completely different sectors. One was working with a charity as a fundraiser, and one was support and administration role with a policy research company. I gained some amazing skills working with both organisations, such as team working, planning, organisation, time management, decision making, negotiation and so much more. All helped me build my foundational skills for the workplace, develop my confidence and help me secure my first full-time job. If you're starting from scratch, look at these two ways to get started. First is to look and identify a role model or someone who has your career inspo. Do some research, some online stalking, and see how they got started. Track their career progression to see the route that they took to get to where they are today. LinkedIn is such a great tool for this, but tip, you might want to sit yourself to private mode before doing this research. Write this all down to visualize where you might want to start. The second one is a bit different, as you start by looking at your favorite brand or company. If you like the company, it's slightly because you either align with their values, identity, or style, which makes sense for an ideal career route. Look into the sort of job roles there are at the company or see if they're hiring. What job role is this and what skills do you need to get it? This can be a great way to get your head around the different skills for stepping into these type of careers. I caught up with James McCann from the organisation Movement to Work. They specialise in bringing together employers to offer young people access to amazing work experience opportunities. I'm James, as you just mentioned, I'm the Chief Operating Officer for um, Movement to Work. Just starting off, how would you define work experience? So a work experience placement is a temporary role which allows young people who are looking for employment to gain practical experience. Um, movement to Work, work experience placements typically last two to six weeks and consists of vocational training, uh, employability skills and on-the-job experience. Training might include things like digital courses for digital skilling, um, employability courses such as confidence and resilience building, presentation skills and, and CV workshops. And work experience placements can be face-to-face, -face, um, an in-person work experience placement, virtual, um, an online placement giving young people the opportunity to experience the world of work remotely without having to travel to the employer's office or base. Um, or hybrid, um, a combination of both virtual sessions and face-to-face, -face, all with the aims of providing young people with valuable experience of the workplace. And we're very proud um, that more than half of the young people who complete Movement to Work work experience programmes um, with our members go on to secure full-time permanent positions. Well, there are benefits to the organisation um, who run uh, work experience programmes and, and recruit young people. Running a work experience program gives businesses access to a, a sustainable and diverse talent pipeline, which we all know positively impacts on organisations' performance. Young people bring fresh ideas and perspective, new ways of working, fresh energy, and injection of diversity, which is invaluable. 
um, it encourages more innovation and um, a more productive environment which can lead to improved competitiveness. I love that. But, yeah, it's great. I mean, there's a huge amount of benefits to um, the businesses and there's also lots of benefits to the individual as well. Um, work experience provides you with a better understanding of the work environment and what employers, employers expect from young people. It gives you the opportunity to learn uh, key employability skill sets to equip you for the world of work. It provides you with an opportunity to explore possible career options and gain a better understanding um, of the employment opportunities in a particular um, sector uh, and or industry. It gives you an introduction to the workplace recruitment practice. Um, it can also provide pathways into direct employment and other employability programs such as apprenticeships. It's great for your CV and to be honest, the list goes on and on. So all those considered, how would you advise young people to start? Well, there's, there's a lot of different places where you can source work experience, um, which can actually be a challenge in itself. Um, if you know the type of work experience that you want to do and the particular business that you want to work with, I would say check out that organization's website um, as there's likely going to be programs on there um, which are advertised. Alternatively, you can find many opportunities at local job centers and DWP youth hubs, as well as um, youth outreach organizations such as the Prince's Trust. Um, Movement to Work actually uh, have their own youth opportunities platform as well, which is powered by Get My First Job, um, where we host the latest and greatest opportunities that we have across our network, including some of the biggest employers um, across various different sectors. So whether you want to kickstart your career in retail or hospitality or tech, we've got something for you on there. Um, so you should check out movementtoworkplacements.com. If you see something that you want to do, don't be discouraged. Put in the application and go for it. When I did work experience when I was 16, it was an industry that I didn't end up um, being part of, but that is okay. It's okay to select an industry. It's okay to try something. It's also okay to do uh, to select another industry after that if you are um, interested in it. So my point would be it's okay to try before you buy and it's okay um, for it not to be uh, right first time because there's lots more opportunities out there. Perfect. Such a great answer. Thanks so much. Really useful stuff from our Movement to Work expert, James. If you want to find out more about Movement to Work, their web address is scrolling on the bottom of the screen now. Let's look at getting the experience next. There's both traditional and non-traditional routes to go through. Schools traditionally offer placements, so find out through your school's office if there's options available. Sometimes it's worth sending an email to your desired workplace, offering your name, experience and your CV. This shows proactivity. An untraditional route could be making connections through social media. If we look at the creative industries especially, social media can be your best friend finding opportunities. Note that someone doing work experience has the right to be paid at least the national minimum wage, unless they're a student. Check out acast.org.uk to learn about legal working hours and rights for young workers. As a minimum, you should be having your travel expenses paid. Or you can look at Joe's quick set on cost of living, Know Your Worth, where he talks about the national minimum wage. Okay, now you're starting to visualise the job roles you want to get into. The next step is applying. I spoke with our Apprentice Nation artist, Jazz Karras, on how she got started in the industry, work experience, and how to get the most out of any experience by setting intentions. Hi Jazz, thanks so much for coming today. Thanks for having me. You look amazing. Thank you, so do you. Oh, thanks. So, thinking about social media, when you think about how you've got opportunities, do you feel like social media has really helped you in that kind of way? Yeah, definitely in terms of like having a relationship with like personal relationship with fans and like a quick way to put out messages, all of that stuff. It's definitely helped when it comes to growing my network. Yeah, of course. So when you think about like how your journey through music and everything, mm -hmm. how do you think you've got your experience to get to where your music is now? It's literally like ev ev through everything. So through shows, through meeting people, um, Social media, of course, makes it easier to meet people um, and just doing it every day more and more. Yeah. yeah. For people starting up in music, do you have any advice in that kind of way, like how you can get work experience to really leverage your journey in music? I would just say to try a bit of everything, try different things. There's some things you're going to hate, some things you're not. Um, and don't be afraid to like start conversations with people because it can really go a long way. I know, I love that. Mm -hmm. So with upcoming music coming out, yeah. how do you set intentions for a project? Wow, um, I don't think about them, you know. I think all I just try to do is 
is is love the music, be as real as possible. Um, I, I try not to, I feel like when I start thinking about music, that's when I have a hard time making it. So I think there's obviously strategy side, that's a whole complete different side of it. But um, the actual music itself, I just kind of let it be. Yeah, I love that kind of like remove your mind from it. Yeah, yeah. Let it go. Mm -hmm. Oh, amazing, thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks so much, Jazz. Let's fast forward in time and imagine you've selected the industry you want to work in. You've contacted the organisation and you've now begun your work experience. It may seem overwhelming, we have some advice to share from one of our experts. Let's hear what he's got to say. My first bit of advice is don't put yourself under huge pressure to feel like you need to stand out from the crowd because you know, many of you listening may be more introverted. And, and, and I think particularly if you're up and coming in your career, you, know, you, you don't have the network of con uh, contacts. You may not have yet the, the knowledge and experience in your role. Um, and I find personally, you know, people that are just come up and ask some questions and are interested in what you're doing are the most interesting people rather than those sort of rushing around trying to sort of broadcast and, and, and get noticed. Amazing and so true. Whilst completing your work experience, you'll be given an area of responsibility. It may be something big like a project or event or something smaller like shadowing a colleague, or you may be rotating between different roles and departments. Whatever you get involved with, it is critical that you record and document what you do. This experience can be added to your CV or LinkedIn profile, and it highlights the skills you've developed, the tasks you've performed, the networks you've established, and ultimately, the difference you've made at the company whilst you've been there. Noting down what you're doing can be simple as noting what you did, the task, what happened, the outcome, and your skills developed on the way. I've made a simple framework for you to use. It's displayed on the screen now. Here's an example of what you can capture. The task, drafting and sending and filing emails. The outcome, communicating to key stakeholders to help keep the project on track. Skills developed, writing and communication skills, planning as well as organizing. Here's another example. The task, populating a spreadsheet with data. The outcome, contributing to the content delivered to your team progress, meetings, and made some recommendations. Skills developed, data inputting, tracking and scheduling, organisation skills as well as presentation skills. Sometimes it might feel like you're not making an impact at work, but remember, you're new and the primary reason you're there is to learn. Let's listen to Mark Alera on how preparation is key in making the most out of your time at work. I think if you're going into a meeting, you know, be knowledgeable about the subject, read and read, make sure the papers are read and all that kind of stuff. So. You know, if someone says to you, hey, you know, even if you're new, you've been here a week, what do you think? Um, you, you've got a point of view. You've got a point of view. Um, so I think that's really important, the preparation and the reading and the understanding uh, around you of, of what's being discussed, I think is important. I wanted to close with these final words from Mark on how to get feedback at the end of your experience. If you can find people, um, you know, they're either part of your peer set or, or, or someone you can trust in a team, and you can say to them, look, I'm, I'm really working on my communication style or trying to engage better in meetings or trying to, um, you know, overcome uh, nerves when I'm speaking or what, what, whatever it is. Could you give me some feedback on how I performed in that meeting? Uh, and that's that's really important. I think it's it, it's like, a, you know, business It's you know, I think for those people that are interested in sport, you know, it's completely natural all of the time for sports people to be working on stuff. So if you think of the very best sports people, you know, from tennis players to footballers to swimmers, to, they are always working on getting better. They never stop. The best ones never stop. And if they if they run a race in 10 seconds, they want to run it in 9.9 .9 and 9.8. And they will work with a coach and a, or a group of people around them every single minute of every single day on how can I get better? faster, uh, score more goals with my left foot, whatever it is. So why can't we think the same way in business? Um, and, and in fact, we should be. We have over a hundred mentors and industry experts here at Apprentice Nation, from BT, as well as many other great organizations. Head over to our site and select someone who you think could give you the guidance to make the most out of a work experience opportunity. Huge thank you to our experts for sharing this experience in this quick set. Also wish you loads of luck on your career journey. Here is a quote to leave you with to get you feeling inspired about work experience. 
If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you.